Good morning, this is Darren with America's Swimming Pool Company of Dallas in North Texas. Today we're getting ready to plaster this pool uh, with a Diamond Bright Super Blue product. Turn out beautiful. We put new tile on this pool. We reset some of the coping, re-grouted the coping, and now we're getting ready to plaster here in just probably an hour. The crew will show up. Um, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you on some things you need to look for before you plaster. I've talked before in some videos about the good bonding coat before you apply the new plaster. First thing you want to do is drain the pool of course and then check for any hollow areas. If any of the pool has any hollow areas that has to come up, you've got to get down to a good solid foundation. Uh, before you you plaster so chip out all the areas and you'll notice <clears throat> we chipped out below the tile three four inches allows the new plaster to feather smooth against the tile you want to do that around your light you want to do that around any of your fittings any penetrations that come into the the pool that's what you want to do also the bonding coat has to be rough it has to be rough for that new plaster to stick to okay if you use an acid to clean up the old uh, pool make sure you neutralize it very good very good we don't use an acid because a lot of times you can't get all the acid up out of the pool and so it'll sit there underneath the new plaster over the years and start eating it away we power wash it with a strong power wash 5000 psi we chip it all out power wash it we clean it and then we apply this bonding an sgm product uh scratch coat so now we're going to apply the new Diamond Bright product, and this pool will look amazing. This is Darren with a resurfacing tip. Thank you.